Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today I'm here at the Otter Habitat in Sequel Energy Lodge in the Canadian Wilds as we celebrate the arrival of our otter pups. Today we're going to talk all about the amazing things that many mammal moms do to make sure that their babies have the best chance of survival. And otters are a great example of that. Otter moms do something really cool that we see in many mammals who live in cold places. For an otter mom or for a bear mom, they want to have their baby in the springtime when there's more food around, when the temperatures are warmer, and these animals often live alone. Now they might only find a male to mate with uh, at uh, one day of the year, but if that's too early, they don't want to have their baby in the middle of the winter. So what do they do? These mammal moms do something incredible called delayed implantation. That's a really scientific sounding word, but what it means is that their body can actually decide when it wants to get pregnant. They can actually hold that embryo inside their body for a number of months until the timing is right so that their baby is born at the right time in the spring. Other mammals do really interesting things based on their lifestyle to try to make sure that their babies have the best chance of survival. So we're going to learn a couple of cool new science words today as well. Some mammals in the world, like horses, giraffes, they live in herds and they want to be able to get up and moving pretty quickly. And uh, they don't have hands, paws, to be able to carry their baby with them. So they need their baby to be able to get up and moving right away. These young are called precocial. If you've ever heard the word precocious, it means that you're up and alert uh, right away when you're really young, really bright eyed and bushy tailed. And now what that means is a baby like a horse will be able to stand up right away after it's born. Their eyes are open, they usually have their fur uh, or their hide ready to go. And within a few days of being born, they're able to keep up with their herd. Now as humans, our babies aren't like that. They need a lot of parental care. And there are other animals in the world like that as well. Gorillas, puppies, cats, their young are what we call altricial. And what that means is that they're not independent right when they're first born. They need a really long time to be looked after. Uh, but that's a different type of advantage, a different type of parental care in animals that are able to do that. All around the world, mammal moms are working super hard and have really amazing strategies to make sure their babies have the best chance of survival. And here at the Calgary Zoo, as we welcome and celebrate the otter pups, we celebrate new mom Kate learning how to be a first time otter mom. Otter pups are altricial, so they'll rely on Kate for the first several months of their lives and they'll stay snuggled in with her in their den as they grow. We won't see them take to the water until their warm undercoats grow in, but we are all really looking forward to seeing these otter pups grow up. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Daily Dose at Home. Uh, and so today for your at home activity, we've got a matching game where you can match up the type of animal with the name of its young. Super fun, we've given you an answer key so you can check that and see how great your matching skills are. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.